Hi, Bill here with 30 Minute Woodshop. Thanks for joining. Today, I wanna to show you how to do a really cool kid-friendly project. Now, this is a bird feeder, a platform bird feeder. It's gonna come in two parts. First part's just gonna be the platform, so you can just make that if you want. Uh, you don't need to make the rest of it. Throw that out, throw some seeds on it. The kids will love it, easy to build. If you wanna build the rest of it with the, the roof and everything, you can do that too. Now, if you wanna build this, hit see more, click on my blog link down there, and you'll find a dimension sketch there. <clears throat> so go ahead and give that a shot. Also, while you're down there, you'll find some tools and things that I use you might find interesting. Check those out. Now, let's start making. This project requires an eight by 10 platform. So what I've done here, I cut two pieces out of the fence pickets, right? So the total dimension here is, is uh, 10, it's eight inches across, 10 inches long. Actually a little more because I've left a little down here to be able to trim it off. Uh, now what I have to do is glue these up. So I'm just gonna use some Tight Bond 3, which is waterproof glue. Wow, what are the odds? Now one thing I did to this is I used my glue line blade to make both these edges perfect. So when I put this together, I'm just doing a, a rub joint here. There's no gap in the glue in the uh, between the two pieces. Now all I want to do is throw a clamp on it. And there we go. Whoop. Clamps are snugged up. Give this about two hours and we'll come back and finish the job. It's been a couple hours. Glue's dried. Now we want to put on the side rails, right? So all I've done here is I've cut off a couple of 5 8 by 5 8 uh, little pieces. And all I'm going to do is just glue those in place around the edge. Now, one of the things I'm going to do, well, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So let's first get the right dimensions. All I'm doing here is even, evening it up here, and I'll just mark it off the bottom. And then the same thing with the sides, or these end pieces. There we go. So now I have these marked off, I'll go cut them up. Now that I have the rails all trimmed up to the appropriate size, all I'm gonna do is spread some glue on them, glue them down, and I'm gonna actually gonna nail these down as well as clamp them. So I'll clamp them in place and then nail them. That, that turned out pretty good. I didn't feel the need to clamp that. Now these side ones, however, I gotta trim again, because what I did, I only took in count of one side, not both sides. So, back to the saw. I'll be back in a second. And there we go. Wipe a little glue off. It should be good. Now, at this point, this is the first half. If you just wanna put some bird seed in this, set it out on the deck or on the uh, deck rail, let the birds come in, the kids will absolutely love it. And you don't actually have to use a nailer on this. Just get some small clamps, glue it and clamp it, let it sit for an hour or two, you're good to go. Because I am using this waterproof uh, tight bond glue, I don't have to worry about it sitting out overnight. Though I will say, if you sit it out overnight, you'll probably end up with squirrels and raccoons. So that being said, if you do it this way, I would just put some seed in it, leave it out in the afternoon, pick it up, put it out the next day and let the kids do that. So let's move on to the second half of this project. The next step is to dog ear the sides. Now I've already split these into two inch wide pieces. And yes, I did have to use a different picket. I was using scrap material before, but I kind of ran out because it was a little short. Um, but I'm using this 45 dog ear already here. So I'm just going to cut the other side 45. And I'll do that on both. I set up a block, stop block just to give me the uh, actual dimension. So here's the ends. 
The ends are completely cut. You can see the 45s on top. Basically what's going to happen here, I'll glue and nail these to the ends, and then I'll put the top pieces on. That's how simple this is. Great project for kids. If you're going to do it with kids, pre-drill for the nails. Give them small brads, like one inch brads, and let them nail it together. They'll have a great time. Can't really do too much harm. All right. Or you can just glue it together. Put some glue on it. Put a couple clamps here. Call it good. You will need to secure the, the uh, roof a little bit more, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's put some glue on this and nail it together. Just to check it, to make sure they're in the same spot. All I'm doing is putting the square on one side and making sure it touches here and touches on both of these so that way they're even. Even if it's shifted a little bit either way, that's fine. They just really need to be even so that the roof fits perfectly. So let's do a quick uh, nail on this. Boy, there we have it. This is a super easy, kid-friendly project that your kids will have fun making and really enjoy using. Once you hang this up, birds start coming, they'll love it. A couple things about this project. As I said, hit more, see more, and you'll find a link to my blog and there'll be a dimension sketch for this. Very easy to make. Because it has a two-part, two part, so you can make the uh, tray and just use the tray or put the roof over top, put it out in a, uh, in a tree or off a pole and the kids will have a great time watching it. It's very easy to access. Just pour a cup of, uh, literally one cup of seed in here. It'll bring a ton of birds in. Then I would actually, if you're gonna use the tray, like I said, pull the tray in at night. This one you could probably leave up there. Those squirrels might get to it, you know, depending where you're at. You don't need to use a uh, air nailer, all right? If you're using, doing this with kids, just pre-drill pre for, for one inch or one and a quarter inch brads on the top and three quarter inch brads on the side. The only reason that you're putting the brads in, honestly, is to hold it together while the glue dries. Be generous with the glue. The cedar sucks the glue up pretty, pretty, bit, pretty good. So uh, be generous with it. If it squeezes out a little, wipe it off. Don't worry about it. This is an outside project. The birds don't care. All right, that's why it's great for kids. Eh, they can hit it with a hammer and mess it up. It's okay. Also down there is a bunch of links to tools and things that I use. Go ahead, explore those. You might find something interesting. And I'll say this. If you got something out of this, do me a favor. Hit like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And until next time, hey, good making.